Hi, it's John. Hi, I'm Maria. Welcome to D News Jam, Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. The magical news of Disney. Welcome, welcome to your weekly happy place. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. It really does help this channel out. If you like this week's show, please give us a big thumbs up and ring the bell so you'll know when we drop our show here every Wednesday. On this week's show, will there be a Mandalorian movie? We get a hint from Jon Favreau and Pedro Pascal. Tell the guards to open up the gate. Disneylandtoday.net reports on California's rallying to open Disneyland. Maria counts down this week's top 10 merchandise and fashion with the collection straight out of the jungle and a new Galaxy's Edge lightsaber. Brian Corral is in Epcot this week with a tour of the best rides in the park and Disney World to close early New Year's Eve. It's another jam-packed show, so let's get into it. In a February earnings call, Disney's then CEO, Bob Iger, said that after the season two premiere of The Mandalorian, future seasons will include the possibility of infusing a show with more characters and the possibility of taking those characters in their own direction in terms of a series. In other words, expect The Mandalorian to spawn its own Star Wars creative universe. Soon enough, Pascal will slip on his character's signature helmet once more. Executive producer and showrunner Jon Favreau told Variety that The Mandalorian is on schedule to start production on season three of the series before the end of the year. The line is blurring now, said Favreau. Things that you would have only seen in the movie theaters, you're now seeing on streaming. And I think it could go the other way as well. Whether that means Pascal's tight lip Bounty Hunter could end up on a movie screen remains a tantalizing if uncertain possibility. Fevro said he's in no rush to push the show beyond a streaming series, but we're definitely open to it, he added, and excited to see where the story leads us and have that flexibility because there's no rule book now. stand down. I'm here on business. I need your help. I've been quested to bring this one back to its kind. If I can locate other Mandalorians, they can guide me. This is no place for a child. Wherever I go, he goes. season streaming October 30th, only on Disney+. Plus. Tell the guards to open up the gates. Disneylandtoday.net reports dozens of Disneyland cast members and some loyal fans protested the continued closure of Disneyland and California Adventure. The governor of California, Gavin Newsom, has not been cooperating with Disney regarding the Anaheim theme park's safe reopening. Some held signs that said, tell the guards to open up the gates referencing Elsa's anxious demand to open Arendelle for her royal coronation in the movie Frozen. Other fans insisted that if the rest of the Disney parks could be open safely around the world, so could Disneyland and California Adventure. Josh DiMaro and Bob Chapek are being supported by 18 state legislators including Anaheim's mayor, to reopen the parks. Newsom recently dispatched teams to visit Walt Disney World to observe how the safety protocols were being implemented in the Florida parks. Similar groups should be sent to California parks, including Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farms, SeaWorld, and Six Flags. Stay tuned to D News Jam for all the news on Disneyland, and don't forget the hashtag OpenDisneyland2020. And now it's time for merchandise and fashion top 10 with Maria. 
Take it away, Maria. Hello, and welcome back to our top 10 merchandise and fashion picks. In this week's top 10, we have some new bags from Loungefly, great holiday gift ideas and fashion, a November release straight out of the jungle, and Galaxy's Edge announces the fan favorite lightsaber. So let's kick it off starting at number 10 with the Minnie Mouse doll holiday fashion set. Minnie is ready to make the rounds of holiday parties. Your little one will love dressing her up in the festive red frock, the gold polka dot gown and adorable accessories included in the carrying case that converts to a wardrobe for the poseable Minnie doll. Available for $29.99 at Shop Disney. Coming in at number 9, it's the Tangled Jigsaw Puzzle by Thomas Kincard. Inspired by Disney's 2010 film Tangled, this 750-piece jigsaw puzzle by Thomas Kincard features a beautiful painting of Rapunzel and Flynn as they boat together beneath the floating lanterns, while Mother Gothel, Maximus and more characters appear on the shore. Available for $18.99 at Shop Disney. And in 8th position, it's the Star Wars Action Figures AOP Mini Backpack. Who out there collected Star Wars Kenner action figures back in the day? Maybe we are aging ourselves just a little bit, laugh out loud, but Star Wars action figures are pretty much responsible for how crazy that world became. You just have to pay homage to these amazing pieces of Star Wars history. This is the bag for true Star Wars collectors. Check out the awesome lightsaber charm on the front pocket, available for $70 at loungefly.com. In the lucky number seven spot, it's the Disney Princess's lightweight puffy jacket for girls. They'll bundle up in regal style with a bevy of their favorite Disney princesses on this quilted winter jacket. Stylized art of Aurora, Belle, Cinderella, Jasmine and Rapunzel is accented with gold foil to make your young one feel like royalty all winter long. Available for $28 at Shop Disney. Coming in at number 6, it's the Pixar Coco Guitar Case Crossbody Bag. Miguel, an inspiring musician, went on a vibrant and extraordinary adventure, learning about his ancestors and traditions along the way. Now you can carry the memories of the beloved Pixar movie Coco with this vibrantly colored guitar-shaped crossbody bag, available for $90 at loungefly.com. And at number 5, it's the Disney Minnie Mouse Bow Crossbody Bucket Bag. Minnie Mouse has been by Mickey's side since their debut in late 1928. Represent one of your beloved classic Disney characters with this Minnie Mouse themed bucket bag that cinches at the top and boasts a red and white polka dot lining. Available for $70 at loungefly.com. At number 4, it's the Minnie Mouse ear headband inspired by Disney and Pixar's Up. Adventure is out there awaiting your appearance in this uplifting ear headband inspired by Disney and Pixar's Up. From the satin bow with grape soda bottle cap to the clear ears filled with balloon pom-poms, you won't ever want to leave it behind. Available for $29.99 at Shop Disney. At number 3, this beautiful 2020 holiday special edition, the Little Mermaid 11-inch Ariel doll. The Disney Store proudly presents the 2020 holiday special edition Ariel doll. Richly costumed in a satin and velvet gown with faux fur trim and lace details, Ariel features beautifully styled rooted hair with a bow accent. It's a holiday wish come true, available for $49.99 at Shop Disney. At number two, the November collection has been announced. It's the Jungle Cruise Minnie Mouse, the main attraction. Trader Sam's red and white stripe is presented as a background pattern on the Loungefly Mini backpack. Mini skirt and Minnie Mouse ears. You'll see the Adventureland and Jungle Cruise shield and elephant bull on the mini ears, backpack, mug and Minnie Mouse plush. The Minnie Mouse plush dons a jungle skipper skirt and pith helmet. Her cheetah boots set off her wilderness outfit perfectly. Just call her Kissy Me Kate. The pin set offers a three set of pins. Minnie in her Jungle Cruise outfit, ears replica and Adventureland Jungle Cruise replica. Available for $19.99 to $90 from November 17th at Shop Disney. And at number one, Bright Suns from Batu. It's the Cal Kestis Legacy Lightsaber. Following a challenge on the Disney Parks blog, the Jedi weapon of Cal Kestis, Padwan, survivor of Order 66, and starring hero of 2019's critically acclaimed 
Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order video game will make its way to Doc Endor's Den of Antiques in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge later next year. Cal's will be the first lightsaber offered at Doc's to have originated from a video game and joins other iconic legacy lightsabers including Luke Skywalker, Rey, Darth Vader and more in the collection. Available at a yet to be released price at Galaxy's Edge Doc Endors. We'll be putting a link in the description down below to all of our top 10 items this week. And that's it for merchandise and fashion for this week. Now it's over to you, John. Thank you for that, Maria. And that new lightsaber is a great choice, I think. And now it's over to Brian Corral, who was in Epcot this week. Good morning from Epcot, guys. We're here at Epcot, like I just said. <laughs> uh, I'm here, Cass. Oh, I see Belle and Jasmine and Aurora. Not in that order. And Snow White. So great. Let's go, Olaf. Hi, Sven. Let's go to the Ice Palace. Hey guys that's going to do it for us here from Epcot today. Thank you for that Brian. For the full vlog go over to Brian's channel and give this guy some support. He's taking you to Disney World each and every week so subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. Still in Disney World it seems that the park will close early this New Year's Eve. Disney World has released park hours through January 2nd 2021 and sadly guests will not be able to ring in the new year inside a Disney theme park. As of now the following operating hours will be in effect December 31, January 1st and January 2nd. Magic Kingdom 9am to 7pm. Epcot 12 to 8pm. Disney's Hollywood Studios 10am to 7pm. Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Those park hours will go into effect November 6, 2020. That is also the first day of the holiday celebration at Walt Disney World. And that's it for this week's show. Please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next week for the magical news of Disney. Until then, we have spoken. This is the way. May the force be with you. And it's not goodbye, but we will see you real soon.